Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to tap a long output turbo 400 output shaft. This one was actually, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. Somebody had already tried to tap this one out once before. What we're going to do is straighten it out on the lathe. So we're going to get it chucked in here. Square up to the chuck. First thing to do is stand back and spin it. Make sure it's straight. This output shaft is straight. One of the things you got to check. A lot of times if a case is tweaked or somebody's been in here and screwed it up, especially on an old derby belt, them shafts will be a little bit screwed up. First thing we're going to do, take our 5 16th drill bit, center it up. Where's the rack? There it is. Tighten my drill. We're set. So we're just going to double check where we're at. Center it up. Now, if this had never been tapped before, this would be your plunge cut. You'd go about three quarters of an inch. And this is to drill your pilot hole and drill it straight. But this one had already been drilled once before and screwed up by another builder. We're going to go for a 2964 bit, cobalt. There's stronger bits out there, but you got to at the very least have a cobalt. We'll set it about half inch. Tighten the chuck. Now we got to take this slow because we got to clean it out. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. And I'm following how deep I'm plunging it on my drill bit here. We're about an inch in. To straighten out a few things here while we're doing it. That's good. Normally, after you drill the three-quarter inch pilot hole, I usually go about, there's a little bevel in the end anyway, so you'll go about, oh, uh, I like to go an inch and a half. The, uh, the tap has a little bit of taper on it, so you got to go a little deeper than the tap, so you get a good one inch of thread there. We got our 2964 tap, fine thread. Half inch fine. Now, I use 2964 drill bit. Let me take that back. Half 20 national fine. I use a Hanson. I don't use don't use Craftsman taps. They suck. We're gonna reset that. We're just gonna hold that in. Center up our tap. We're just going to turn this by hand to get it started straight. And it's started straight. It starts turning the tap once it's straight. Got my nice tap tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lock my chuck basically locking my chuck in two gears at once. This is an old uh, 1950's uh, metal working lathe. It's actually a Craftsman lathe. A lot of hot rodders have little metal working lathes uh, to do small parts and stuff. I inherited mine from my great-grandfather. 
and we'll just plunge the tap right on in there. And if you get it straight on a good sharp tap, this will just go right on in here. You can see how I'm doing it. It's moving right along. And we got a good about an inch or so of thread there. Let's remove this from the chuck. Looking good. Got the bolt, inch and a half bolt, half inch fine. There you go. That's how it's done.